rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. If, if man is already created in God, David. Yes, sir. He talking about when he said, we full know he did predestined to be conformed. Right, right. What does that mean? If, if I'm already in the image, if I already got the image, what is he talking about conforming to the image? <laughs> we, we, I know it's created in the image, but somewhere there's a fall in a man <laughs> that took us out of the image of God, right? <laughs> the, mm -hmm. the other word, we move from a live spirit Oh, my goodness, you mean the fact from a quick in the spirit? Well, hold on, hold on. Huh? Because after, after Adam failed, after sin <laughs> entered in the world, God still forbade that man should kill a man because uh -huh. he created in God's image. Yes. After the fall. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I think. I, uh, <laughs> Well, well, we know that the man is tried petitioning. This Johnson, so y'all pray for me on that. I feel a man is tried petitioning, so, you know, we look at God, he's tried petitioning as well. There's three aspects of his personality that, I mean, kind of like we mimic in our configuration in that we have a body, we have a spirit, we have a soul. Yes. Uh, the, we, we fail. I mean, we were conformed initially in, it, in that initial image, but as time went on and this, this occurred, we we got disfigured in a sense. We 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 uh we we, we perverted ourselves, and uh, that life giving spirit that was a part of our, uh, our nature, we cut ourselves off from. Well, what is it also the fact you might say what Bishop trying uh, invoking us to think about is that his image also means his characteristics. That's I think that's what it means. Period. You know what I mean? Well, the first, the first thing that comes to my mind is that uh, it's free will, and that, and that uh, we still have a choice as to, to or to not to do, to be or not to be, and so I think that, in my opinion, that's just the first thing that came to my mind is this, this freedom, this free will, in the whole situation as well. Yeah, that that appears to be the, the development of man. You know, initially they didn't really have free will because there was no sin. I think sin, sin kind of ended in for mankind when he was told, don't touch that tree. Because I remember in the scripture where it said, tell me that, um, it says, um, the man has become as one of us to know good and evil. After they have been taken from the tree of the knowledge, the knowledge of good and evil. So it, it doesn't appear as though that was an accident because the plan of salvation was in place prior to the foundation of the earth. So it's as though we completed our 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 development or we furthered our development in the sense that we actually did take from that tree. We but became think, more as God. We just think, didn't have the wisdom or knowledge. Yeah, but I think our training wasn't complete. We weren't, we weren't, it was definitely wasn't complete. Right. You know, and, I think and, that's what this is all about. Exactly. So I think that image is 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 also some of the characteristics. When we talked earlier, Christ was moved by compassion when he did things. You know, when he healed the sick, when he fed the, the, the people hungry, he was moved by compassion, right? And and matter of fact, in the image, I got this one here. It, I think it segues into it, if you don't mind. Brother Addison, I don't mind, since, I, since you're here now, I want to bring this up to you, let you read it. Can you cover that slide for us, please? Yes. <clears throat> well, can I say something before we do it and go there? Yes, sir. Lee, where were you going with that? I mean, with that question, because we, we kind of chopped it up, but you never really came back and said what you were trying to allude to. So fill us in. What where, where, where were you going with that? With that question, that 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 observation that you brought up. Uh, what I was trying to get you to start thinking about was yeah, the thing, yeah, is that is that the reason that God desire that the gospel should go out, that the good news should go out, is because all of humanity, every single soul ever born, is a potential candidate for 
which means that that everybody born has the potential to be conformed to the image of God. Amen. Now, there is something already there that God wants to quicken or have it become born from above and then to begin the process of what he called conforming whatever is there and born from above into his own image and likeness. Yes, sir. You follow me? Right. <laughs> so I was just thinking in Romans it says be not conformed to this world. Yeah. To this world. Yes, sir. But be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind. Right. Come on. And that's the picture. You're conformed to something. Yes, sir. But the renewal of the mind caused you to be conformed or transformed to something else. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, so, so you're moving from something to uh -huh. something. Right. Always, always. Without, without, it, without really saying it, image is implied in that picture. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Right. Because if you're being, if you're being transformed by the renewing of the mind, what are you being transformed to? Right. 